What in the world is that? That's really not what's important. It's not all that important what it is. What is important is what will it be. Christina is on some brand new candy. Brand new candy. The time has come to utilize this stuff. This stuff right here. The white chocolate. The white chocolate is going into play. As you can see, this is a part of a gigantic block of Calibo W2 white chocolate. What do you got going there? Roasted peanuts, fresh roasted peanuts. Fresh roasted, in-house. <laughs> and salted. We, uh... Ow. Hot. Careful, they're hot. Hot nuts, what? Um, we got a little ambitious on something. But we didn't know. To be fair, we didn't know. If, if... We didn't know how the skins affect the peanut brittle. We actually just don't like the way it looks. So we bought... How many pounds of peanuts did we buy? 25 or 50? <clears throat> One of the two. I think it was 25 pounds. We still have this many. We bought organic raw peanuts. There were two of these. It was huge. And the reason we want the peanuts raw is because we wanted the peanuts to cook in the peanut brittle. We don't want to put roasted peanuts in the brittle because we wanted the flavor of the peanuts to sort of permeate the candy. We want them to cook inside. So you can do it either way. You can put roasted peanuts or you could put raw peanuts. But what we didn't really know is that the skins, when, you, when we put the raw peanuts into the brittle, they don't break apart and they sort of stay whole. It affects the brittle aesthetically it doesn't look as good and the skins just pretty much stay on all the peanuts and they don't really break apart. And so we decided we wanted the skins off, but that's after we bought an S ton <laughs> of peanuts. The way that you remove the skin from peanuts is to blanch them. So you can either dry blanch them or wet blanch them, whatever you want to do. Blanched peanuts are still considered raw. So we, put them in the oven for five minutes to loosen the skin and then the skins come off. But you gotta sit over there and take the skins off like Christina's doing now. Those aren't for brittle though. Those are fully roasted. She roasted those peanuts because they're going into a different kind of candy. You can get blanched peanuts and they already have the skin removed. We're going to roast them. They smell delicious. Those peanuts roasted fresh like that are so delicious because in the candy that Christina is about to make, they're so delicious. I don't know what the name is yet. We're trying to think of a name for these candies. And my vote... But I... Which I'm leaning to your vote now. The candy is handmade... How do you say it? Caramel or caramel? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How do you say it? Caramel or caramel? Well, either way, it's handmade. Christina is making it right here. This is going to be caramel, caramel, caramels. It's going to be caramel. And it's going to be spooned out into little ovals. And there's going to be fresh roasted peanuts. And then it's all going to be covered in white chocolate. Check out the pralines. We decided to package them up for Valentine's Day because, I mean, it's almost Valentine's Day. Check this out. Oh yeah. We're gonna get them with the Valentine's Day packaging. See what I mean? How could you not wanna buy that? 
even if it's not for Valentine's Day, even if you just want want it for yourself to sit at home and sip a piping hot cup of black coffee, you take a little nibble of a praline, you take a little sip of the coffee, then you take a little nibble of the praline, and you take another sip of the coffee. How can you not want that? Valentine's candy, this is the weirdest thing ever. When I wear this shirt, <laughs> it makes me look red and it turns everything red. Why is that? I don't know. I remember you didn't believe me at first. You'd be like, you're crazy. <laughs> you are crazy, but that's beside the point. Tomorrow is Bruce Trent Park. Our second time there. Is this what you do, write signs all day? <laughs> I know, in every video, yeah. <laughs> Can you, uh, oh, no. New bags. Tell me those aren't gonna grab your ass when you're walking around the farmer's market. You <laughs> see somebody walking with that bright yellow bag with that big blue sticker? You wanna know where it came from. I don't know what's going on today, but we decided not to overdo it with the pralines because we're not going to the market tomorrow because there's a 90% chance of rain. It is going to be pouring rain tomorrow. But we did come with 17 packs of pralines and we only have nine left. And it's only 2.45, we're only going for 45 minutes. And someone who was here last week came in right away and swooped up four which is awesome by the way we appreciate it and they said sparkly fam i have a feeling they saw us on youtube but i'm not really sure but hey we love it i'll be glad to sell out we'll just put sold out and that'll make everyone be like whoa we gotta get here early next week I think it's like 3.07. It's 3.07. It's <laughs> and we have six packs of prelims left, that's it. Yep. We're selling out fast today. It, it's going real well. A lot of the early birds came in just picking up three, uh, two to four packs. So it's going good. And it's a really nice day today. It's like overcast, but it's 67 degrees so it's really nice out here too and tomorrow's supposed to rain all day uh, so that's why i think more people are coming out uh, just enjoying the day before it rains tomorrow but it's going well where's the pralines there's quite a buzz around the sparkly sweets booth today that even other vendors, no lie, other vendors are walking over to see what's going on. <laughs> uh, that's for real. Yeah. That's real. It's crazy. No, I don't know. I have not. First of all, my coffee got cold. Second of all, these freaking empanadas over here are looking delicious. I cannot believe we're sold out of pralines that quickly. We're definitely going to start doing some pre-order situation where people can text us ahead of time to give us an idea and we'll hold them back for them. We'll bag them up and we'll have pre-orders all ready to go so people could just roll up.
Brewers on a mission right now. We're selling out today, y'all. Cashew Brittle, almost gone. Pecan Brittle, almost gone. Sparkly pumps are going like crazy. All right, I gotta tell you, it's gotten a little crazy here at the Bruce Trent Park Market today. We're almost sold out. Oh, we got manual, oh no. We're almost sold out, sold out of Brittle now. We only have four bags of peanut brittle left. All the cashew brittle, gone. All the pecan pie brittle, gone. We sold a bunch of pops today. Yeah. All the pralines were gone in the first hour. And people are coming over here, it's like a buzz around the Sparkly Sweets booth, I'm telling you. And I swear those people said Sparkly Fam, they must have seen us on YouTube. Yeah. I know a couple people did see us on YouTube who came to the market last week because they commented. Yeah. So that's just so awesome, if we love that. Did, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>